everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve, and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now, if you're returning to the channel, thank you so much for digging the videos. I totally appreciate it. And if you're brand new to the channel, thank you for deciding to come and check it out. Uh, welcome aboard. Hope you like it. So without further ado, Black Sheep Props would like to introduce you to the newest member of the family. <laughs> the gladiator helmet. That's right. Check that out. Woo! Very cool piece. Um, a lot of details on here. We've got the cool fangs because it's supposed to be a lion face. We've got the bevel cut around the nose. We've got all of our other pieces rounded off and sanded and smoothed over with the heat gun. Uh, so it's really, really smooth and tight. We've got these cool little side details on the helmet with little rivets in the middle of it. We've got our brow detail there. We've got a bunch of cool four-sided spikes all over the helmet. We've got the mohawk going down the back. And we have the cool neck protection device, which I assume is so you don't get your head cut off when you're not paying attention and someone gets you from the back. So in this episode, making an EVA foam Gladiator Helmet Part 1. We're going to go step by step through how to build this sweet, sweet, awesome cranium protection device. <laughs> so, if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. Okay, here's all of our pieces for our Gladiator Helmet. Okay, now we transferred our pieces of the template that are going to go on the half inch thick foam. And if you notice, the little lines we have here around the pieces of the helmet, those are going to be registration marks. So that when we're attaching the three different pieces of the skull cap together, we're going to make sure that our registration marks line up so that it's built perfectly. Okay, now this half inch foam that's smooth on both sides, I buy from TNT Cosplay. So if you're gonna start building and you gotta start buying foam, go to TNT Cosplay because they rock and uh, tell them Steve from Black Sheep Prop sent ya. Okay, now here's the rest of our templates on different thicknesses of foam. We've got some two millimeter, Looks like we have probably some four millimeter for these two pieces, and then we have six millimeter for this. Sacred Zacto knife with a sharp blade. Now, this is a six millimeter piece, kind of thick for being so intricate. So, because we have intricate curves and some corners, we're going to use the X Acto knife. There we go. And we're going to keep it standing straight up because we're going to be pivoting around curves. And we spin our foam while we pivot our knife. Perfect. Look at that. Nice. Now we're going to do this next one. Okay, now we're going to get out our brass tube. And brass tube sharpened. We're going to come in. There we go, look at that. Get out of there, you. Now, look at what we also have here. When we poke out a nice little perfect plug, we can keep this now for something extra. That's a perfect little plug. Now we're gonna come in with our sharp brass tube and we're going to, and you'll feel the little pop as it goes out the other side, like that. See that? Okay, now for the piece we're going to use on the top of the helmet for the mohawk, we have a template that makes up the two halves of our piece. So we just drew, traced it, and then we flipped it and traced it, and that's how we came up with that. Straight edge there. Now this piece is going to fold like so and become our mohawk on our helmet. 
Okay, now we separated all of our pieces so they're easier to deal with when we're cutting. And now also, because this is thick half inch foam, some of these pieces we might cut on the bandsaw just so that we keep a nice 90 degree cut around the edge. Okay, now we're going to cut out our nose piece. Now the nose piece is going to have a nice beveled cut around the whole thing. The straight top edge is going to have a 90 degree cut. So we're gonna keep our blade at a 90, 90 degree angle. So see that we got a nice 90 degree cut there. Now all the rest of the cuts, we're going to tip our knife over so we can get a bevel cut. So we're gonna go right through the piece like that. Just like that, 45. And our last piece is going to come through on a 45. Now, when you flip this bad boy over, pow, look at that. How cool is that? That is a jamming bevel cut all the way around the nose piece. Okay, now what we did here for our two eyebrow pieces is these require a straight 90 degree cut at the bottom and a straight 90 degree cut on the inside edge. So we used our metal edge and our sharp box cutter and we kept our knife. We did not tip our knife because we don't want a bevel here. Straight 90 degree cuts across the bottom and the inside and we're also going to do a straight 90 degree cut around this inside curve which we don't want to use the box cutter for because that's kind of a tight little circle to have to cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to zip these through the bandsaw real quick just to cut the curves out. We could use the X-Acto knife if we wanted, but because we have a bandsaw, I'm going to use that. We're going to spin our foam around, keep our hand away from the blade like that. We're just going to spin it around. Turn the bandsaw off completely before we ever reach in. And now we can pull our pieces out. Now we're going to cut this top edge on a slight bevel. Now we've got our table tilted so we can cut our bevel. And we're going to come in and we're going to follow our line just like this. All right, now look at that, nice beveled edge. Okay, there's our two eyebrows. We've got the 90 degree cut on the bottom and the inside and the circle ends, but then the tops we cut on the bandsaw to have a nice bevel. Okay, now we're going to begin cutting all of our straight edges with our box cutter. Keep our knife at a 90 degree angle. Follow right around our Sharpie line like that, keeping our blade at a 90 degree angle because we don't want a bevel cut here. Just like that. Look at how simple that was. Ooh, beautiful. Right there in the point. Go all the way through. Follow our Sharpie line around like that. Look at that. That is a nice sharp point in there. Let's start our point. Follow our line, just follow our line around like that, and a nice sharp corner by using the X-Acto blade. We're going to start right there, like so. And then we're going to come in here, we're going to start right at our point. We're going to stick down through here and go straight through, like and just like that. We did the box cutter for the straight ends, and then because we needed to get in some, to some sharp corners, here, 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 and around here, we use the X-Acto knife for that. Okay, now we're going to cut these outside lines on the bandsaw, and then after we do that, we're gonna come in and we're gonna cut out the little triangle pieces using our X-Acto knife. Out the end, and right through there and out the end just like that look at that beautiful corner super nice okay now 
These edges we cut on the bandsaw, we're going to be gluing these together with other pieces. So we want to take off a little bit of that rough pattern from the bandsaw blade. So we're going to take our 220. Very nice. Okay, now we've got a nice smooth edge on both sides of this. So when we stick these to other pieces, it's going to be a nice smooth piece of contact right in here. Okay, now we have our dust mask on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in with our Dremel and we're going to round off all of our edges on all the pieces we cut. All right, look at that, nice soft edges. As we always do after we sand, All right, beautiful, look at that. Look at how nice and soft those edges got. Beautiful, glossy, smooth edges. That is really sweet. And now we just keep going. Okay, now what we did is we cut these two off because I just realized we actually don't need these on here because these aren't part of that layer. These are going to be a separate layer that we attach onto the front like this. We're going to have a piece here and we're going to have the matching piece over here. So what we did was we traced this template out onto foam. We're going to cut these out and then they will attach to the front of the mask like that. All right, we're going to cut with a 90 degree cut. We're going to hit all of our straight edges. Cut these apart so we can get to them a little easier. Okay, now we're going to come in with our X-Acto blade because we have some corners. So we're going to come into our corner, get straight through, and we're going to come in here to our corner and we're going to go straight down our Sharpie line like that. Look at that beautiful corner. Wow, that's cool. Okay, now before we Dremel these, what we need to do is the top of both of these is going to have a bevel cut on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our mark so that we know we're doing it at the same distance on both pieces. So we're going to come in here and we're going to hit it at about a half inch mark right there and right there. Right there on that side and right there. Okay. What we'll do is we'll come in like this, saw through nice and careful like that. All right, we want to mirror it so we don't want to screw up. So if you see what direction we did the cut, that means this cut's got to go this way. So knife right on the angle we want and we'll start sawing through and we'll go right through like that. Beveled on both sides. Look at that. That is neat. We're going to come in with our 220 and right here we have a slight little texture from where we cut it. So we're just going to Hit that off there. Look at that. All right, beautiful. Now we're going to come in, as we always do, after we Dremel and we sanding stick. Look at the difference. Square edges and dry matte finish. And here we have round, smooth edges and a nice, shiny, tight surface. Very nice. All right, now we're going to do the same steps over here. Beautiful. We're going to get our other smooth bit that has a bullet point so we can get in here. All right, there we go. Now for the helmet, we need to heat shape all three of these pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to get out our roll of painter's tape and our styrofoam ball. And we're gonna use our styrofoam ball to shape our helmet pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our 
heat gun out. And we just shape it around the ball. We hold it there for a little bit. And just like that. See that? Perfect. That's all we needed was a slight curve. Now we're going to do the other side. Same thing. We're going to just shape it around our ball like so. Nice and curved. That's exactly what we wanted. We wanted a curve like that. All right, we got a slight curve now. We're gonna come in here, we're gonna get each arm separately. Nice, look at how curled that's getting. Getting a nice, good curl on here. We just keep doing each of the four kind of fingers separately. Bend these. All right, very nice. Last one. All right, now we've got a slight curl on this. See that? Just enough. And we've got a slight curl on these, just enough. Now we're gonna begin the process of gluing these together to create our helmet shape. Get our contact cement on both sides like so. Now we want to get it down in the corner, so we're going to use a little extra piece of foam and we're going to smooth this down into the corner like that so we know it's in the very corner. Same thing on this side, we cover it. That's it. Now we're going to give these five minutes and we're going to do the same thing here. Come in with our extra foam and we get it all the way down into the corner. Okay, now we've got all four of our pieces cemented. Okay, now we're going to begin sticking. We're going to line our seam up as clean as we can get it. See that? Nice and flush right here on the edge. Look at that. Very nice. Now we want to make sure our ends line up perfectly. Just like that. Look at that. Just like that. Now this piece is where our registration marks are going to come into play. So what we're going to do is we're going to start lining up our seam just like that. Now we want to make sure that we have the registration marks line right up with each other. See that right there? Those two silver marks. Just have them touched together just like that. And then we squeeze it together. And now this is where we have to make sure that we get our end, our end right just like that. Now we're going to come around to this side and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to begin sticking it together. We're going to line up our registration mark just like that. Get it started. We're getting our seam together very nice and our registration mark lines right up like that. Just like that. We've got our top piece. And we've got our two side pieces. Now we have a nice smooth layer on all four pieces. Okay, we've waited five minutes. We're gonna begin sticking and we're gonna make sure we line up our Fs for our front. Right there, like so. Now we need to muscle our foam in there so that our registration marks line up. See that? You line up your edges to get them nice and flush and then you bend your foam to have the registration marks line right up like that. Wow, look at that. I got this helmet template from Evil Ted Smith's website. He has a dragon helmet that has the perfect dome template which is what I'm using here. So. Let them know that Steve from Black Sheep Prop sent you, if you go. Okay, now we're going to really have to wrestle here. Look at that. Oh, boy. Oh, we made it. Bam! Look at that. <laughs> Who's the boss? You or the foam? Better be you. Line it up. 
right on the and remember we're gonna have to muscle your foam now muscle it in there just like that all right now here we go again we're gonna have to really wrestle here and that's it and just like that check that out what a cool template wow and see that when you take your time and you wrestle your foam and you line everything up it goes together perfectly all right that was it we transferred every piece of our template over to foam cut it all out we dremeled the edges so we've got nice round edges we sanding sticked it to smooth it out then we went over it with the heat gun to really tighten it up all the pieces look great so far and we went ahead and started assembling it we built the skull cap part of the helmet which you saw how cool that was with the heat shaping and bending it together really cool um, and then in our next episode making an eva foam gladiator helmet part two we're going to complete the entire build we're going to put all the pieces on it we're going to seal it with plasti dip we're going to paint it up to look weathered like this gonna be cool um, so that concludes making an eva foam gladiator helmet part one Hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and uh, subscribe to this channel so together we can go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.